Welcome to Global Pet Expo TV. I'm Tierra Binaldi here at Global Pet Expo 2011 in Orlando, Florida. Manufacturers and buyers are making deals on the show floor. This is a record-breaking year for Global Pet Expo, just one of the many signs of the resiliency of the pet industry. The American Pet Products Association just released new numbers that show overall spending in the industry was up more than 6% this year, and they're predicting spending to exceed $50 billion this year. The number of U.S. households that own a pet is now at an all-time high of almost 73 million. Now, pet owners know that pets make them happier and healthier. Now there's going to be a comprehensive research center to back that up. At the industry breakfast this morning, APA President Bob Vettieri encouraged attendees to support HABRI, the Human Animal Bond Research Initiative Foundation. HABRI's mission is to support research that validates the positive impacts that pets have on the health of families and communities. Along with APA, Pfizer Animal Health and Petco are the founding sponsors. Last year we uh, came up with a new vision for our company for the future and it's all about healthier pets, happier people, better world. So that vision aligned so perfectly with what Habri's wanting to do, again, which is to celebrate the benefits of having pets and making life better with a pet. Attendees are also encouraged to support the Pets in the Classroom, a program that funds aquariums, small animals, and reptiles in schools. The Pet Care Trust has already introduced 75,000 children to animals, but the goal is to reach a lofty 1 million children in 30,000 classrooms across the country, something that will take some money. Pet Care Trust can't do it alone, and we need the support of, of individuals and companies who will donate to the program and support a classroom. We'll take uh, uh, program grants uh, anywhere from, if you, you can sponsor one uh, classroom at $150 up to uh, multiple classrooms at, at any amount. Every bit helps, uh, obviously, and uh, so we'd be, we're very appreciative of, of any support that we can get from uh, individuals in the industry. To support Pets in the Classroom, log on to petsintheclassroom.org or the Pet Care Trust. At the show press conference today, Sargent's announced a new treatment for fleas and ticks that's available over the counter. Veterinarian Tony Johnson wore what he called the Cognipet 4000 as a creative way to kick off the new product, claiming they know what pets are thinking. All joking aside, I think the most important thing about FibroGuard and FibroGuard Plus is that pet owners know that these products are out there. The more things that you can do, that we can do as professionals, to educate pet owners about a lower cost alternative to this very effective product that has a very high safety profile, the better it's going to be for pets and the, and the lower amount of disease we will see. The new product is called FibroGuard and has the same active ingredient as prescription treatments, but it's available without a prescription and is less expensive. America's resident veterinarian, Dr. Marty Becker, handed out the coveted Best New Product Showcase Awards this year. Buyers voted on which products they liked best, and top honors were given out in categories including aquatics, bird, boutique, cat, dog, natural, small animal, reptile, and point of purchase display. Dr. Becker also handed out awards for his personal favorites called Becker's Best. This is my number one product of the Global Pet Expo, and it is by Hagen. The Cat It. The Cat it. To see a list of all the winners, go to globalpetexpo.org. Congratulations to this year's winners and all the manufacturers with new products on display. This year's show is getting a lot of media attention. I had the pleasure of hosting a satellite media tour for television stations around the country featuring new products on display here at the show. Camera crews were also here from NBC, ABC, CBS, and more. You may have seen the early show's Debbie Turner on the show floor. As a veterinarian that does pet and animal stories for CBS, I'm always looking for the cutting edge of information for our viewers. So I'm looking for the hottest new products, the hottest new information. And because this is such a big comprehensive expo, it's a great place for me to come. I walk the entire floor and I find all the new cool things that pet owners can get for their pets to make life better and make their pets' lives better. Victoria Stillwell is also here, the host of the hit TV show, It's Me or the Dog, signed books for fans, and she was honored with the 2011 Outstanding Pet Industry Contributions Award. She accepted the award at a media reception here in Orlando, sponsored by Purina. In honor of the event, Purina is making a donation to the Victoria Stillwell Foundation. 
The award recognizes an individual who influences people about the joys and benefits of pet ownership. That's it for day two here at Global Pet Expo TV. We'll see you tomorrow.